Hey guys, it's Emma here. I'm on board Britannia. This is my first ever P&O Cruises cruise. And here are nine things that I really like about the ship. They're all really silly, little insignificant things. I'm not sure if you'd agree with me, but for me, it's those small little things that really make a cruise. The first thing has got to be UK plug sockets. It never crossed my mind when I booked this cruise that I wouldn't need travel adapters, but that is really cool. Obviously I still have bought three with me because I thought that I would need them, but that's nice. The second thing is the amount of ice buns they have for breakfast. I'm not sure if they're technically ice buns, but they're just bread rolls with sugar on them. Some days I've had two or three, they're amazing. Number three, the Yorkshire puddings are incredible. Think about if you go to a carvery and you're only allotted one, but here there's unlimited Yorkshire puddings. Next is the Wi-Fi, which Arguably for me that isn't a silly little thing, that's quite a big important thing, but the Wi-Fi has been seriously good. It's probably the best Wi-Fi I've ever had on any cruise ship. On board P&O you buy Wi-Fi either by the day or by the whole cruise. You're not buying it by the minute or by the megabytes like you normally do on other cruise lines, which means you're not sat there trying to log out while your minutes are just going down or you're downloading a picture and your megabytes are just dropping and you're watching it. Sometimes it can be a little bit slow, but we're at sea and it doesn't matter because you've got literally the rest of your cruise to, to send this message. I would definitely recommend getting the Wi-Fi. There are a few different packages. There's one that starts at £7.50, which is just for Facebook and Twitter. The one I've gone for is Browse, which means you can Google things, because there's always things I think I really need to Google that when I get home, but I'll never remember it. So it's got all of the social package plus browsing. The difference between that one and the higher package is you can't send or download pictures on things like WhatsApp, but you can send them on Facebook Messenger. So. So for internet for this seven night cruise, I've paid 60 pounds and I think it has been well worth it. Definitely the best that I've ever had at sea. I would recommend getting the Wi-Fi. And normally I would never recommend getting the Wi-Fi. I'd say it's a pain in the ass and it'll drive you mad, but it's actually been really good. All of the cabins have tea and coffee making facilities, of course. Best of British, British flags, British everything, British tea. And your tea comes with a couple of biscuits, which they replenish every single day, different types of biscuits can't beat that. And also if you're having dinner in the main dining room, the tea and coffee after dinner is completely free and on some other cruise lines you have to pay for it which seems a little bit stingy but it's completely free on P&O. There is so much tea and the tea is really good. All of the tea on board P&O ships is PG tips. You see why that's kind of hard to say? All of the tea on P&O ships is PG tips which means you are getting a good cup of tea. My next thing is not a thing, it is a person, it is Captain Wesley. I'm not someone who cares about the captain, I don't normally go to the captain's meet and greet, I couldn't care less, but Captain Wesley is fantastic. I'll put some little snippets here of things that he says that just cheer me up every day. Just in, the latest weather report for Stavanger, can you believe it's going to be 24 degrees tomorrow? Yes, 12 degrees in the morning and 12 in the afternoon. I was lucky enough to meet Wesley at the meet the captain party welcome captain speech thing and I'll put a nice picture of me and him here. If you buy a soda package on board P&O you'll be buying something like this. So we've bought this which allows us to have 20 Pepsis, diet Pepsis, lemonades or tonic waters and this was £35 which isn't ridiculous value but each one will come in a pint glass and they'll ask you if you want ice or not. So I really feel like you're getting your money's worth out of this package. It is only for this cruise, you can't transfer it. It does have your cabin number on the back. So you've got to get through your 20, 20 Pepsis or whatever you're going to buy in a cruise. But we've managed it. Some days we've had maybe three or four pints of Pepsi. My next favourite thing is this. There's not much to say about this. It is a blow up Britannia and I love it. Boop, 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 boop. Breakfast room service is completely free on P&O. It is in this little book. I feel like it's kind of hidden. I didn't know that it was there. I had to ask my friend Gavin to let me know where this was. But in here you'll find this. You tick off each thing that you want. You tick a time that you want it. You just hang it on your door and your breakfast appears in the morning, which is particularly good if you've got an early morning excursion and you just can't be bothered to fight with the buffet. And lastly, the thing that I enjoy are these tacky little flags, which we got from the British Sail Away Party, where they play all this classic British sing-along music, and everyone gets very cheesy, very happy. I'll put some clips in from that here. I hope 
hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I do appreciate that some of these things are a little bit silly, but I will be writing a full post on my website about all the things I loved about Piano, things like the food, things like the service, bigger picture things than plug sockets, but I just wanted to share these little things with you because they make me happy and you can look out for them when you cruise on Piano. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you a whole playlist of videos about Britannia and the Norwegian fjords because there is so much that I want to show you and tell you. It has been an amazing cruise, but for this video, I think that is it. I will see you next time. Hey guys, it's it. All of the tea on board is PGT, just a proper British cuppa of tea. Cup of tea? British, proper British cup of tea. Cup of tea. Cup of. I always, whenever I book, <laughs> play some music, try and get everyone dancing. You buy it in terms of days, you don't buy it for, buy, 